Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three limited edition, these are uh, Tony's Choco Lonely chocolate bars. They are a massive chocolate bar. They're very, very, very heavy. Uh, they're, um, it's very hard to read the labels. Uh, this one is a white chocolate bar with turmeric and chai. This one is a milk chocolate bar with fresh thyme and, um, sorry, a milk chocolate honeycomb bar with fresh thyme. Mine's a dark chocolate chili fudge pink pepper bar. So the uh, the two on the the ends, these two we bought at Fresh Market. They were four dollars each. The one in the middle, at the time that I bought the other two, the Fresh Market did not have it. So I ordered it from Amazon so that I could have all three of the limited edition bars, and it was five ninety nine from Amazon. So I did pay two additional dollars from Amazon, but I get to try the bar, so I'm satisfied. So this is, uh, it says, our limited edition white chocolate bar with turmeric and chai. It's a wonderfully creamy bar inspired by Asia. Oh, but there's more inside than a great harmony of exotic flavors. Turmeric gives the chocolate a bright yellow hue. Zing, our vision is 100% slave-free chocolate. Not just our chocolate, but all chocolate worldwide. Want to join our mission? Check the inside of this wrapper. Uh, it's made in Belgium. Six servings per bar, one six, 30 grams is 170 calories. So, ooh, and it has a, a fancy gold wrapper. And it does, um, says share our chocolate, share our story on the inside. And, um, Definitely yellow. their goal, their whole <laughs> goal is to make chocolate slave free. Oh wow, this is definitely a different color than what I am accustomed to from Tony's. Well, it's white chocolate, so pretty much anything you put in there is gonna. Yes, so. Um, color it. The, the, yeah. So, uh, white chocolate, turmeric, and chai. It also has grated coconut. And it also has cardamom, cinnamon, and ginger. So it, it, um, that makes it sound like it's a Christmas kind of a thing. It's so thick, it's hard to break. <laughs> I actually like that. I get more of the white chocolate coming through, but then it's got little flavors here and there. Right. Um, I mean, it's not one I would buy all the time, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. I like it. Not for you. It's yeah. It's I don't <laughs> think it's bad. It's not a bad chocolate bar, but it's not one that I would get again. And I think it's the that turmeric. Yeah, um, it's definitely a different flavor. It yeah. It's it's not the chai. Because I like, uh, I actually like chai tea. Um, I don't think it's the chai. I think it's the turmeric. They, um, I do like the um, the smoothness of the the white chocolate. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah, the white chocolate part has a really good flavor. And I did get pieces of that coconut that it mentioned. A little, yeah, um, I got a couple. Of a little pieces, of, but it's just not for me. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's not bad or anything. It's not off-putting. It's just not one that I would choose again. Yeah, it's not one I would buy again, but I think it was too, I think it was horrible. Um, smooth, crispy honeycomb and fresh thyme add herbal notes to this limited edition milk chocolate bar. Or at least that's how chefs would describe it. It's definitely a special bar that we quite simply describe as delicious. So, this is uh, Belgian fair trade milk chocolate with honeycomb, freeze dried thyme, and sea salt. Mm. Well, has all kinds of oh, wow. Chunks in it. And they're distributed out of Portland, Oregon. It's www.tonyschocolonely.com. And this will be the milk chocolate. Hmm. That is so different. Yeah, you're not used to having that, the flavor in chocolate. 
chocolate. No. I'm used to having that flavor in like bread. <laughs> yeah, that thyme. I am used to having that in like Italian. Mm -hmm. When you go to, up to an Italian restaurant and you get the bread or um, we've had chips with thyme. Mm -hmm. You know what Usually though? with rosemary. I think it works. It does and I've work. got sea salt. Mm -hmm. I got a little salt. No, a lot. I, I got, got the salt bit. at the end, yeah. which is for me the, the best point to have it is at the very end. I didn't really get a really good strong like honeycomb kind of crisp. I didn't. I got the texture of the honeycomb. So I didn't really notice that. Um, but I, you taste the milk chocolate and the thyme. That thyme is more powerful than anything. Oh yeah, it's very strong. And for me, it works. It really, I'm just shocked that that works that well on that. It's good. It's not, again, it's not one I, I like it better than the first one. I like but, it much better. But it's still not one I would go, ooh, I'll, I gotta go buy me one of those. And this one is gonna be a dark chocolate. Uh, pepper two ways. This limited edition is a bold stunner. Chili fudge and pink pepper in firm 51% dark chocolate. Uh, let's see. Belgian fair trade dark chocolate with fudge with chili flavor and pink pepper. I don't know what a pink pepper is. Like, like literally pepper or like salt and pepper? It has pepper? elderberry concentrate. I don't know what a pink pepper is. Okay, this one just looks like a dark chocolate bar. Nothing, nothing fancy. I tell you what, you're gonna take your time um, eating these, just because <laughs> it's gonna take you, it's gonna take you a minute to to take a bite of it. Yeah, it has a pepper flavor. Mm -hmm. I like the pepper. It's different. Mm -hmm. It's like literally eating pepper out of your cabinet, like uh, peppercorns. Yes, that is, I like that though, it works. It's different. We were watching a show, um, uh, a Chopped episode, not that long ago, and it was, uh, they were making a dessert, and one of the judges said, you need to add some pepper to that. To that dessert and um, I wondered how that would taste it actually is really really good in that dessert yeah. um, I mean I would eat it again but oh you don't like it oh I, I do I think it works um, I like the dark chocolate the dark chocolate has a really good flavor to mm -hmm. it it's a, it's a good it's got a little bite to it it's got a little dryness to it but it's still a really good dark chocolate it's um, not, yeah, it's it, only 51% dark chocolate so it's not it, it's it, a super it, it does dry your mouth believe yeah. it or not uh, but yeah, it's not a bitter, I no, don't think. Just a touch, um, but just what you would expect in a little bit of a dark. Drink. But I do like that pepper. Mm. Um, I, my favorite though is the one with the thyme. Yeah. The milk chocolate and the thyme. That is, it's just so different. It's it's not. It's very unexpected for me. The the flavor combination, but it works. Um, and then my second would be the pepper. I think I like the pepper and the dark chocolate. I just did not care for the turmeric chai white chocolate one. I would not get that one again. I, I don't know which one I would pick, honestly, because I wouldn't buy any of these again. You wouldn't get any <laughs> of them again. Well, they're limited edition. I don't know how long uh, they will be out. So if you're interested in any of these, if I've made you curious about how the, the flavor combinations are, uh, then I hope you're able to find them. Uh, like I said, we found them at Fresh Market. It's not something, uh, these aren't chocolate bars that you see uh, everywhere you go. So usually they're in uh, more expensive grocery stores is where you usually Not especially find them. stores. Yeah. So I hope you can find them in your area. I'll have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.